Okay. Well, Larry Anderson, Life and Reason, I'm just going to... Uh, this is going to go in the chronic pain section. And I'm, I'm just going to detail what's happened like the last uh, half an hour. Um, so far today we recorded one standing and then it started to hurt and then we recorded a, a few, uh, uh, kind of a series while I was laying down. I was feeling much better, I said laying down. And then we... Uh, ran out of disk space and we didn't have a backup uh, card for one of our cameras which is you know it's a shoestring operation so when we start asking for approval on Facebook and things that make us money I don't even know how that works but please <laughs> help us because well, you know it's just uh, we're with the people that are doing this helping me are doing a terrific job with with no money cameras that are old and my sister bought Never mind. So I'm emotional now. So I just, for people who are in chronic pain, actually this is for the people of loved ones who are in chronic pain, because I think my sister, I hope she learned a lesson. I hope she understood what was going on today. What happened was the card ran out, and I went to my computer to try to, and I, I was in pain. I mean, I got up and, oh, actually, we, 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 had to, we went and looked at a, a, a lot. I got up and moved around, and I put my brace on. And so I came back in, and I was in more pain. Uh, when we got back, and then we had to deal with this technical problem. And I cannot sit at my computer, because I can't sit at all when I'm in pain, so I get into this kind of sumo wrestler position. I don't know if you've ever, uh, probably most of you, if you've ever been in a Japanese bath with Japanese men, uh, the way that they squat when they bathe themselves, that's, that's a position that I can sort of tolerate. Uh, I don't know if Japanese women do it or not because I've never been in a Japanese bath with Japanese women. Can't tell you that. Um, so anyway, so I'm t trying to squat. I'm in pain, and the the pain is rising. And and remember the pain chart. As the pain goes up, I get be, become more emotional, and uh, then I have the frustration of of uh, you know one was an Apple, and one was another kind of computer, and the disk drive somehow it had to be reformed. I don't know because. I was in so much pain I couldn't focus enough. It's very simple stuff. It's just push two buttons and I couldn't find the right two mouse clicks to push. So I became more frustrated and then the pain increases and then the frustration increases and then I start to get angry. So I, I, I'm, 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 I'm frustrated, I'm in pain and, and it just grows and grows and then I get angry and uh, my wife and my sister are in the room, and my wife's a little more tolerant of this stuff because I'm at the point now where I actually cannot stop these emotions. And people who live with loved ones in chronic pain, when their pain gets severe, you need to understand this. So I'm, I'm losing my temper, and I'm using profanity, which my sister is, you know, um, not very fond of. Bless her. Uh, and and uh, uh, and it's kind of a very tense, severe situation, and I, I, I you know, you 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 kind of feel a bad vibe coming up here. Eileen's just sort of going about her business, and I was trying to explain. I was trying to show Marianne that this was actually when when you're rational, when you look at these things rationally, which I try to do. I'm now in a position that I cannot control myself. I'm not, I'm not going to hit her. I'm not going to, you know, occasionally I've broken something, but I wasn't near close enough to breaking anything, and I don't break things that are expensive. You know, I'm not that irrational. But the, the, there's a rationality underlying, there's truth and reason going on in this situation. The, the, the pain is getting out of control. I, I haven't been able to, uh, uh, I didn't want to take oral medication. So uh, the pain is increasing, my anger is increasing with the pain. There's a rationale there, and the anger is not directed at anyone. I'm just angry. And uh, I could, <laughs> stupid thing, to, it, turn that down if you can. Everything bothers me when I'm doing this. I mean, it's, 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 it's very weird. Yeah, all the way down. Um, so people with loved ones, when they're in chronic pain, um, now, of course, a chronic pain person doesn't have the latitude to just go nuts uh, whenever they, they want. And as a matter of fact, I said, if we were taping this right now, if we'd had the camera, we couldn't because <laughs> that was the whole problem. But if we had been taping it, 
and sort of people saw me ranting, they would have probably thought that I was a narcissistic, spoiled little brat. Uh, and that I was just an out-of-control personality. I mean, it looked very much like a kid having a temper tantrum in a grocery store, sort of, sort of. Um, but I, I, I wasn't. I, I just, there was no other way for me to respond to that situation. I get up when, I left the room several times when they would be coordinating stuff so that I, I that, you know, I just wouldn't interrupt the process. But when we were trying to get back to business and or else they needed... <laughs> Try me to try to give my advice on a computer, which was a bad time to ask for me to do anything that way, because I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I couldn't think. So anyway, uh, yeah, that, that's a, think about that chronic pain people and, and, and people who live with them. Um, there are sometimes when they we just get angry and uh, kind of lose control, and we need to be rational enough to uh, not hurt anybody, not hurt ourselves, not break things. And we need, and, and, and to, uh, uh, the other thing is very much, which I should have done, is I do have, they, they started me on oral medication. I should have taken the oral medication. The first thing that I should have done is try to get control of the pain. I do not like losing the power to think to a narcotic. I loathe that, and maybe I need to find that balance in my life because I may have hurt my sis sister's feelings a little bit by the swearing in particular, but when someone is yelling and angry in a room and in an enclosed space, no, and it doesn't matter, there's a tension. I, I tighten up, you know, when someone else is doing that. Uh, it, they're just a, it's a human response, the kind of fight or flight thing when, when, when it looks like the situation's out of control, even though it isn't. And so I, I need to be wise enough to know when to, uh, when to just say, you know, take a pill, you got a pill, take a pill, which I didn't do. But uh, it's, I hope that the chronic pain people get something out of this and, and, and their loved ones that if you, this is the point of life and reason is for us to try to get a, a kind of a rational hold of what's going on and then and then be able to, to understand the situation uh, and then make the, be able to not only understand it but make the best of the situation and communicate so that people, that, that they under, the, the uh, the participants, the people locked in the room in this instance, uh, know that it's not, that the people that are not in pain know that it's not directed at them and that it's not harmful and that it's something that it's kind of, it, it's tough to do. And my, my wife, unlike my sister, my wife has to put up with this stuff all the time. I mean, yeah, more and more recently because I'm in a lot of pain. And it's just a physiological fact that when I'm laying here and relaxing, so it's kind of going down from a 9 to an 8 to a 7. So now I'm emotional. And it's just bizarre. The, the, the change in emotions that, that I've experienced in the last half an hour. I kind of wish we'd had a camera running. We could You could see the whole gamut now. You can kind of see the end of it here. I can't control the anger, but I can understand. <laughs> and in this blog, what I'm trying to do is help other people who are in similar situations or who people who live with people in similar situations to be able to reach some sort of a deeper level of understanding because
it's hard. It's hard to do this for 25 years. And my situation pain-wise is not getting better. It's getting worse. And the interesting thing is that I have, I have the love and support. I didn't have to worry, although I was a little bit worried because my sister is kind of new to this. In, I mean, in a close situation like this. Uh, I, I worry about hurting, hurting people or scarring people. But... Uh, uh, I can't remember what I was going to say. I don't, I don't have to, uh, even though my situation is getting worse, I don't have to fear the situation. I don't have to let the situation get out of control, which it can. You can, it can get, that anger can just explode into physical, and, and you can direct it towards somebody. I mean, you can just be an animal. As a matter of fact, but I, I because I'm under try to understand this and try to live a life of reason, I I, I, I have a sort of a, a better grip than, than than I would have. As a matter of fact, let me tell you about really severe pain. There was a time on 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 uh, one situation. It was on uh, during a holiday and we had family over and a dog ran by me and clipped my legs and knocked me down. Uh, and I was in so much pain I couldn't get up. Uh, it just hit me wrong. The, it just the wrong kind of fall, and it was incredible pain. And I was immediately in a rage. And what I did, because there were little kids here at present, so I I, I started. I, I screamed, "I'm an animal." I'm an animal. <sighs> because the pain was so severe that I was afraid I couldn't control it. So I was reminding myself by screaming that I was an animal. I was reminding myself that I am a human being. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> oh.